following an insurgent attack on a military hospital in Afghanistan's capital. At least two people were killed and seven are injured. Initial reports say the attackers dressed as medical workers set off an explosion before entering the hospital in Kabul's diplomatic district. Let's bring in Nick Payton Walsh, who joins us now from Beirut. Nick, uh, what's the latest you're hearing about the situation on the ground now? One Afghan official describing the loud blast heard on the outskirts of the hospital as potentially a hand grenade, but we are now talking about this multi-storey complicated building full of wounded Afghan soldiers being under a complex attack. Clearly these attackers aim to get inside owing to the nature of the noises we're hearing from inside that compound. They do appear to be in an intense gun battle with both police and the special forces from the Afghan military that have rushed to the scene to try and take this on. But I can't tell you really how at the heart of what should be Afghanistan's secure establishment, this hospital lies. The Sadar Mohammed Daud Khan building, it's huge, it's right near the US Embassy, it's slap in the middle of kind of the diplomatic area of Afghanistan's capital, Kabul. And this attack comes at a chilling time for the Afghan military itself, currently experiencing record casualties. 6,785 dead in the Afghan military and police just last year until November alone, according uh, to a U.S. auditor of the Afghan campaign. There are over 11,000 injured, staggering numbers, way in excess of anything the United States experienced in now what is its longest war in uh, recent history. A deeply troubling time and a deeply symbolic target slap at the heart of the capital here. At a time, uh, John, I share what we'd normally consider to be beginning the fighting season in Afghanistan, a kind of crude term for what happens in March when the weather warms up and the tempo of violence increases. It never really stopped this winter. And one important thing to remember too, we see a symbolic and probing penetrative attack like this at a time when the same US watchdog for the Afghan war reports now that about 57% of the country is under what they call uncontested control of the government, a third under contested and a tenth of it under Taliban control. These are chilling numbers indeed and this attack itself perhaps an example of how confident Taliban militants feel at the heart of the Afghan capital. Kabul, Afghanistan, CNN, a military hospital in the Afghan capital of Kabul has come under attack, with at least two people killed and seven others injured, according to government officials. Sardar Mohammed Daid Khan Hospital, the biggest and best equipped facility in the country, was targeted by attackers Wednesday morning. Afghan Interior Ministry spokesman Sadiq Saideki told CNN. Salim Rasuli, the head of Kabul Hospitals, confirmed the casualties to CNN. The facility, known locally as the 400-bed hospital, is located only a few hundred meters from the U.S. Embassy and the diplomatic quarter of Kabul. Initial reports indicate attackers detonated an explosion before entering the hospital compound, he said, adding that Afghan National Police Special Forces are on the scene, trying to repel the ongoing attack. Initial reports indicate attackers detonated an explosion before entering the hospital compound, he said. Reed Murai witnesses told CNN explosions were first heard around at 9 a.m. 11. 30 p.m. Tuesday ET, local time. At first there was a firing followed by a huge blast, an employee at a nearby hospital said. An employee at an Italian restaurant nearby said she heard one explosion around 9 a.m. and heard gunfire around 25 minutes later. I condemn the terrorist attack on hospital in Kabul. Afghan chief executive Abdullah Abdullah tweeted. While we work for peace, we'll avenge the blood of our people. He added, I condemn the terrorist attack on hospital in hashtag Kabul. While we work for peace, we in number 39. I'll avenge the blood of our people. Hashtag Kabul attack and M dash. Dr. Abdullah, at AFC executive, March 8, 2017 attackers disguised a number of attackers in medical personnel uniform attacked the facility. Afghan Defense Ministry spokesman Dalit Waziri said, The gun battle between the terrorists and the Afghan National Security Forces is going on and special forces have been sent to the scene to repel the terrorist attack. He added, 
NATO forces in Afghanistan said that the organization was standing by to assist Afghan security forces. Tweets from Operation Resolute Support said, Once again insurgents show complete disrespect for humanity by attacking a hospital. We stand with Afghan people against terrorism. The NATO tweets condemned the attack, using an older name for the hospital.